Hi guys! In this video, Omar is going to show you how he got this great stabilized footage. Okay? Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Here's Omar now. Okay, bye. Subscribe. Like. Thanks. Hello Nikon Z owners! I finally got some good results with handheld videography 4K60 with 300 millimeter PF. And um, I also wanted to share my mistakes from my last video where I said that I wish there was more stabilization with a long lens. I think in the future I would love to see like mega stabilization mode, even if it crops in like 90%. So here were the mistakes I made. Mistake number one, where is it? Okay, mistake number one was using the teleconverter while I was doing photography. When I switched to video, I lost my stabilization on the lens with the teleconverter. I didn't know that was a thing, but I realized later that if I took the teleconverter off, the lens did a much better job. The second mistake I made, and by the way, mistakes are ways to learn, and that's why I'm passing this along to you. The second mistake I made was I had the VR on the lens set to sport which seemed to be stabilized, but just moving a little bit more. And this is sport. So I realized the regular one is better. As soon as I clicked it to normal, the, <laughs> the image just froze. And I was like, oh, and I got so much better results with taking the teleconverter off and putting the VR off sport mode which is this little switch on the lens. The third suggestion I have actually came from one of you, thank you. I had completely forgotten about electron, turning on electronic stabilization on the camera, which crops in just a little bit more, but gives you just a more rock solid shot. And I didn't, I completely forgot about that setting because when I did my video on stabilization, it gave me some strange results, but I was testing it while moving and walking and the type of stabilization I'm trying to do now with nature is just hold my breath and kind of hold the camera as steady as possible and focus on the wildlife and try to get a shot that is steady enough so we could see the animal. And uh, so that's my next suggestion is use electronic stabilization and that worked way better. And the last thing I didn't do was I was recording everything at 4K 30 and uh, which is totally fine but I realized that the camera can do 4K 60. And with 4K 60, you have a little bit more leeway in slowing down the footage and actually making it look steadier just with a little bit of slow motion. You can also add some stabilization in post if it's kind of moving around a little bit. Final Cut Pro has an option to stabilize your footage and that helps. So with taking the extender off, setting the stabilization to normal, putting on the electronic stabilization and recording 4K 60 and holding my breath, <gasps> I'm able to get these shots. All right, I'll see you guys next time.